things like this. So bear with me, y'all. Oh. Um, I'm gonna, um, Ermi is asleep one morning and um, I was watching him because I used to love to just watch him sleep. Mm -hmm. And I wrote him a text while he was sleeping so that when he woke up, he would read it. And so I'm gonna share with you um, that text. And then I'll go into my little stories about him that were special to me. Aramis, I want you to know that I feel real joy in my heart when I'm around you. I feel safe around you, protected, like a shield over me when you're around. I'm totally myself when I'm with you, which is probably annoying because I don't wear my cool mask anymore. You've made me into more of a woman. You've given me the opportunity to really love a man. You've been with me while I've been sick, through all my fears. You have encouraged me and inspired me to reach higher. I've learned so much about myself with you. You've been my turn up and my church. I wouldn't want to go through this journey with anyone but you. I look up to you in a lot of ways and I strive to educate myself more like you have. And when we are at odds, I feel defeated and sad knowing that we are so much better than that. I just want you to know that you've been, my, you've been the greatest boyfriend to me. You aren't perfect, but I would never ask you to be. You and I work, we fit, and you're the coolest guy in the world to me, still. I love you so much unconditionally. My truth is this, I'm never gonna give up on you. My love and my devotion is to you. And I sent that uh, January 21st, 2019. Um, um, I, I had to write something because I, I've never felt this type of pain before, but I know that God is alive, but bear with me, y'all. His soul was majestic. He was the strongest man that I ever knew, a gentle father, a patient leader, a divine light. He was brilliant. He researched everything, completely self-taught, constantly seeking knowledge. He would, um, he would go to bed and listen to these audio books in his headphones and I would tease him, but that really is what I thought was the coolest shit ever about him. Um, and he would wake up in the morning and play music for the kids and light a sage and burn it around the house and just make sure that our energy going outside would be uplifted and that we could handle the day. Um, you know, my pain is for my two-year-old that probably won't remember how much his dad loved him. Um, this is something that you know, I never, I don't really understand, but I know that Aramis always used to say that you can't possess people, that you experience them. And I'm so honored and blessed that I got to experience such a man. I know everyone is hurting, but I'd like to say something to my city, Los Angeles. Y'all from LA, stand up. Because this pain is really ours, you know? We know what it meant to us. We lost an incredible soul. We lost someone very rare to us, and we lost a real one. And we won't ever be the same. But in Hustle's words, because he used to always say this, the game is gonna test you, never fold. Stay 10 toes down. It's not on you, it's in you and what's in you they can't take away, and he's in all of us. And since Aramis is the love of my life, you know what it is. Grief is the final act of love. My heart hears you, I feel you everywhere. I'm so grateful that I had you. 
I love you beyond this earth. And until we meet again, the marathon continues. <laughs>